Hi everyone, so we are here today to do some planning for my makeup baskets for the fall and the winter time. Uh, I, I did this for the summertime. I'm going to try and link that above in the cards if I can. Right now my computer is broken so I need to fix that uh, so I can um, link that for you. If not, I will link it down below. But um, it, if you didn't watch my other video where I planned during the summertime, these are the categories that I use in my uh, makeup basket. So I pick out a palette, uh, an eyeliner, eye primer, powder, highlighter, bronzer, blush, and lipstick. Now, because I have a lot of lipsticks and I have like a lot of a lot of blushes. I will pick out sometimes three or um, it just depends on how many uh, how many blushes I have I have a ton of blushes so for the summertime I have more blushes so I picked out like four blushes for the week I think for this go around I'm probably gonna pick two or three uh, I do the same thing for lipsticks during the fall time because the fall um, I have more lipsticks in the summertime so um, I usually work my way up so I start with lipsticks and I go up so I am going to start with uh, September 9th and as you can see her here I abbreviated everything palettes eyeliner eye primer and so on and so forth and I'm going to go up to I believe it is uh, February 24th, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So I'm going to stop at the 24th because, you know, March is starting spring. So that's my cutoff point. And then I go and I do another planning from spring to summertime. So anyways, I'm going to start with lipsticks. And my lipsticks this time are going maybe a little bit tough um, because they're darker shades. So I'm going to have to match my palettes with my lipsticks. Uh, the My summer lipsticks are more neutrals, although these are more berry tones. I mean, although they, they, I think it'll still work just because we, these are still neutral. We'll see how it goes. And I'll stop the video and just kind of show you what I'm thinking. Okay, so I have all my liquid lipsticks here, and I have all the regular lipsticks right down here. I believe I have 25 ugh, lipsticks, and uh, I counted about 27 days. So I'm going to have uh, two, maybe, um, I can pick out a lipstick a day, and there's going to be one uh, two days I'm sorry two days that are going to that I'm gonna be wearing two lipsticks so um, yeah so I'm gonna be putting them here um, and just picking out I think yeah one maybe one liquid lipstick one week and then a, a regular lipstick the next week so I'm gonna do it like that so let's just go ahead and get started Okay, so for the, uh, for February 20, not February 20, February 17th, I picked two lipsticks out. 
Um, I picked out the Max Helena in um, Dreaming of You, and this is a red. Um, so I wanted to pick like a neutral shade, and this is uh, Bare Minerals in XYZ. And XYZ. And um, for the 24th of February, I picked out uh, Bow and Arrow and Secret Agent. Um, so these are the only two days that I had to pick out two lipsticks. I'm also panning lipsticks. So, um, so even though I have one lipstick a week, I'm still panning other lipsticks. So I will be wearing other lipsticks besides the ones in my makeup baskets. So I hope that makes sense. But yeah, so I picked out all the lipsticks for um, for uh, fall and winter. So I'm going to be moving on to, I believe it is, blushes is next. That's my next big category. Well, actually, you know what? It's actually not a big category for winter. Um... Yeah, it's not as big for winter, but for summertime and springtime it is. So let me move on to that. Okay, so these are all my um, blushes for uh, fall and winter time. I have about 15 blushes here. Um, and there's 27 days, so I'm just going to have to repeat some of these blushes, which is good. So yeah, so I'm just going to put them... Uh, aside here and just pick out whatever I want along with the lipstick too so I mean I'm gonna match the lipstick with the blush is what I'm trying to say so let me just do that okay so here are all my blushes opened up um, I wanted to see uh, the lipsticks and the blushes um, in comparison um, some of them I will open up and compare the lipsticks to other other ones I won't but that's how I'm gonna do it. So the first one I do have here is Autumn Leaves. So let me find that lipstick actually and see what kind of goes with that lipstick. And then go from there. So that's kind of a, a just kind of a, a, a ready um, orangey color. And let me see. The one that's really speaking to me right now is this one. This one is my a new blush in um, Songbird by Becca. So I think I'm going to, oops. Just dug my nail in one of those blushes. I think I want to wear these two together. That will look pretty. Oops. I'm just gonna kind of set this aside because I still I'm probably gonna rotate through these um, so I don't want to just put them in the bin quite yet because I'm going to um, probably wear them again so let me just set this one aside and leave it open that's kind of how I select my products I just kind of look at the blushes I look at everything that I have and I just see what kind of goes with what so Okay, so I'm going to move on and kind of fast forward, but you kind of get the, the idea as to how I um, choose my products for uh, my makeup baskets.
Okay, so these I was able to use twice, and then these I just use once in uh, the makeup basket in the rotation. So that's fine. Um, so I'm going to be moving on to, let's see what the next category, I think it's bronzers, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so here are my bronzers, with the exception of um, the Kat Von D. Uh, bronzer, the con the contour kit. Um, I forgot what it's called. The shade and light palette um, contour kit. Um, I don't have that on there. Um, I wore the I wore that for the summer a little bit. So, but I'm not going to use it this for the fall. Um, and also, I'm thinking about not using this one either. This is the Mac uh, Give Me Sun because I think this is. A little bit just to um, that's the swatch of it on my hand it's a little bit too warm I think for right now so I'm just gonna leave it out but everything else I'm going to rotate rotate through um, for the for the fall and winter makeup baskets so um, they're pretty much the same I mean bronzers don't really I don't know change so I'm just gonna rotate through them and I'm probably going to rotate through them a couple times, maybe, maybe two, maybe two times, probably, maybe three. We'll see. So let me just start. So I pretty much rotated through my bronzers about three times. Um, so that's pretty good. These two, two times, and then the rest of these three times. So that's pretty good. Um, I forgot to mention some of these are in my uh, Makeup Use Up um, products. So I'm just rotating them through as well. Um, yeah, so let's move on to highlighters. Highlighters as well should be fairly easy to go through. Um, because, uh, yeah, they kind of go with everything that you wear. So let me go get those. Okay, so here are my highlighters. I'm going to take them out and just go through them. Like I said, this should be very easy because highlighters go with everything. So let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, so I was able to go through these highlighters about three times, except for this one. This was the only one that I was doing two. Um, so yeah, these, these were pretty easy, and I am now going to be moving on to... I'm sorry, I keep forgetting the categories of what I'm doing. Um, okay. <clears throat> powders and everything else I'm gonna move on to that okay so powders liners and mascaras I'm not gonna really I'm not gonna go through it um, I'm just gonna write it down but I'm not gonna um, film that because it's gonna be kind of boring because I only have three powders and the liners four liners in my collection and then two mascaras so I just kind of wear those I mean yeah it's gonna be boring if I do that so but just so you know I have three powders that I'm going through um, four liners that I always kind of wrote rotate through and mascara so that's pretty much it I mean mascaras I don't really write down because I use one or the other um, so after that I'm going to be moving on to palettes I believe yes palettes and then the last thing is eye primers so let's go ahead and do that okay so now we are moving on to palettes these are all the palettes that I'm going to be using for the fall time um, so just wanted to explain that I have about 
nine, eight or nine single eyeshadows. So in the summertime, I just picked out, I think it was maybe four eyeshadows, single eyeshadows. And so I've already gone through those rotations. So I'm going to be using the other four for the winter time. And I did the same thing with my smaller palettes too. I had other, I used some uh, smaller palettes in the summertime so now I just pulled out a couple more and I've gotten um, I've gotten um, like this this is new and that is new so there's a couple palettes that are new um, but then everything else is you know pretty much old uh, yeah in my collection I haven't I've gotten actually yeah I've gotten <laughs> a couple of other palettes too but I'm using them right now so um, I'm not going to use them for the fall time okay so what I'm going to do is I am going to pick a single uh, eyeshadow and I'm going to pick a smaller palette and then I'm going to pick a bigger palette for the week just so I can get some rotation out of all my palettes um, I, Obviously, it's, I'm not going to be able to use every single shadow in a palette, but at least I want to at least try to use one shadow uh, in in the rotation. I just want to touch the palette, so just to be able to rotate through here. So I'm just going to do one week so you can see how I do this, and then uh, you'll get the gist of it. So, Okay, so let's take, for instance, um, September 9th. So for, as you can see here, I've already done the lipsticks, the bronzer. Okay, so for uh, the bronzer, I have the Autumn Leaves uh, lipstick. I have for the blush, I have Songbird. I know you probably don't understand, but I understand my handwriting. For, not for bronzer, I'm sorry, for blush, I have Songbird by Becca. For the bronzer, I have the Chocolate Soleil uh, Too Faced bronzer for highlighter. I have the butter butterfly beach. Then for powder, I haven't picked out the powder. I'm gonna do that last. That's kind of easy. So let's see. Autumn leaves is a kind of darker, like a reddish, um, a reddish lipstick. And I think with everything else, Songbird is also kind of like a terracotta um, blush. So, and everything else should match. So I'm gonna try to see what would match with that um, kind of look. So I'm gonna start here. So I think I'm gonna go and use this one. Oops, this is the single eyeshadow from Dior and I think this is in Gold Touch. Yes, so I'm gonna use this one single eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna look at my smaller palettes and just kind of see what I would want to use with you know that lipstick and that blush. I think I'm gonna try to go towards the warmer um, palettes. So I think I'm gonna go for this one because this one is a newer one. So this is the Smashbox palette in I think this is a blaze. Yes, a blaze. So I'm gonna use this uh, palette along with this and then I'm going to choose a bigger palette so hold on let me open these up again and see what I want to kind of go with I want to go for that one right there that Lorac the Mega 3 but I know that's going to be a ton of eyeshadows but I don't know I think I think that will look nice with this yeah I'm just going to go ahead and do that just use this one and I haven't used this palette in a while so I think this will go I'm gonna have plenty of eyeshadows to work through but that's okay as long as I'm using some of these eyeshadows um, but yeah so I'm gonna use the the um, taking my nails all through this the Lorac mega mega 3 pro the Dior and the ablaze palette so I'm gonna jot all that down. So that's how I'm gonna keep going with the rest of the weeks. And I will take you along and fast forward this.
Okay, so for this week, I just decided, um, I think I'm just going to use these two, just these two. Sometimes I do that, just, I don't know. I don't feel like pulling another um, smaller palette. So I'm going to use just use these two for the week. Sometimes I will do that, and I probably will pick out some smaller palettes too, just the smaller palettes if um, I have enough days. So it looks like I'm just kind of dwindling down. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe use, uh, you know, the these other smaller palettes for just those palettes. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so for some of these, I did end up just using two, like a single shadow and a, um, it just a palette, a bigger palette. I don't know. Sometimes I will do that just because I think it's maybe too many, too many shadows. <laughs> um, just along the way, I just decided to do that. So, it, um, like I said, these things just change as I'm doing them. I'm just planning. And I'm just planning along with you so um, they're bound to change but and I also ended up bringing out other my other palettes I just wanted I don't know it's feeling them so um, I did bring out my Nuvian 2 palette I love this palette so so much so I brought this out and I put it in the rotation sorry for my ashy hands um, brought out the Mario palette uh, just because it screams fall, I wanted to bring this out. Brought out the Morphe palette. Um, what is this? Oh, oh, the famous one, the uh, 3035O. Brought out the uh, the Modern Renaissance palette because I do like that palette a lot. The Carly Bible palette. Brought that out. Wanted to use that a little bit more. And then I also brought out my Makeup Geek shadows that are in here so I brought these out as well so I did add these into the rotation I wanted to just do that so but yeah um, that's kind of how I plan out my makeup baskets I know it's kind of you know I, I didn't really know how to plan this but I just as I go through it I'm like oh this you know maybe I should just add two you know to two palettes or one palette or maybe I'm just feeling this color and that color and that's just how I kind of plan it out. I just kind of, like as you saw, I kind of laid everything out and just looking at colors and things like that. I don't really swatch anything, but I just look at the colors. Um, sometimes I do, but um, but uh, yeah, that's how I do, uh, that's how I plan it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, eye primers. Okay, so this is the very last category in the in planning my makeup basket are the eye primers so let me just do the first one uh so this is the rock pro palette the mega pro three and then the smashbox uh, palette and the dior gold touch so all of these are warm palettes so um i think rubenesque by mac is probably going to be the best um eye primer for this um, or one of these one of these Stila I don't know what these are called but these Stila liquid ones um, but I think I'm gonna go with Rubenesque for um, this for September 9th and I'm just gonna write it right here so Rubenesque okay so now for the rest of the um, baskets I'm just going to uh, fast forward real quick so you can see what I'm doing okay 
Okay, so here is my final draft for my makeup baskets. I um, wrote it out neatly. It's not looking like chicken scratch anymore. So um, here it is. Um, like I said before, palettes, eyeliners, um, eye primers, what is this, powder, highlight, bronzers, blush, and lipsticks. Uh, so yeah, this is what I do every week. I pull this out and I look at what this list says and then I pull everything out just to make sure that I rotate through my makeup baskets. It just keeps me organized um, and I'm able to see, okay, you know, I've used, I've used, I've rotated through everything in my collection. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I don't know. Every, if you guys um, have a system as to how you do your makeup baskets for people who do who do makeup baskets let me know how you guys do yours do you just randomly select products or do you write them down or just to make sure that everything is being rotated let me know down below how you guys do it um, but I hope this was helpful for some of you maybe okay so um, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video bye